TheCubeGuys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, Visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana. I'm Gary Rusponi, and here we are back at Spear Bait and Tack on Seagull Lane. Uh, I, I just saw Mark a while ago. When we get the fish report, I might get him over there. He's he, he been catching fish himself over there at Campo, so y'all stay tuned. We got a lot of fish report, and we got a lot of things coming up. Right now, we got some news from uh, Larry Reynolds, and it, it, it's just a short report on a duck, mostly it's about the duck habitat right now. I'm mean, getting some bad reports from around the state. We're gonna have a short one with this. I got a fishing report. Again, we got Island Marina coming in with a lot of, few pictures and everything. And plus, uh, great friends of ours, uh, Buck Kester and then Peyton Murphy. Peyton Murphy killed him and, and his uncle. They killed, uh, in the last two weeks, they didn't kill some big deer up in St. Francisville, Louisiana deer. Buckley and them were up in Idaho. We'll tell you more about it later when we come back. You watching Paradise, Louisiana? So again, we're going to visit with Chaz. Here we are again, Paradise, Louisiana, Superior Bait and Tackle. Why choose barbecue, guys? Because this is Barbecue Guys. Not only do we have the largest online selection of grills and outdoor furniture, top-notch customer service, affordable financing, and 3D design services to help you tie it all together, but we also know what it is you love most about outdoor living. Time spent with family and friends. Combined with our expert advice, you'll have everything you need to design your dream outdoor life. Stop by our showroom today. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract a driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. Hey, Captain Chris here with uh, Matrix Shad. What we're doing, what we're doing today, we're out in Lake Pontchartrain. It's the middle of January, and we're doing some test runs on some new baits that's supposed to be coming out. Right now, we're looking at the little Matrix Shrimp that we got right now. We're getting ready to Carolina rig it here in the lake, and let's see if we can catch a few trout on it. So this is the initial test run in January 2020 on the Matrix Shrimp. So let's see what we can do with it. Get it on down. Big, beautiful 16 inch trout. 
Pretty color on him. We're throwing the new Matrix shrimp. Clear in color. And they are gobbling it up. You know, the action on this shrimp, uh, you know, most most baits that you get, you know, you know, different type of shrimp baits that you get, they're stiff, very stiff, uh, you know, in the, in the water. And sometimes it doesn't matter. But a lot of times you need that finesse. You need that, you need that tail. Look how that tail's wiggling on it. You need that little paddle tail to create the vibration. It already looks like a shrimp. You know, this time of the year we're dealing with white shrimp uh, that's in the lake and they're not gonna be that big, so they're small, right? So we just downsized our bait once again. Uh, got it on the Carolina rig, about 18 inches. Let it flutter in the current. Uh, and they scooping it up. It's a big, beautiful, solid trout for this time of the year. All right, so the way we got this rigged up is a big one ounce bank sinker, Carolina rig, and this little shrimp that's on a very light weedless hook. There he is. Yeah. Another nice trout. As you can see there, I was rolling that bait back behind the boat. That's how we used to fish live shrimp with a Carolina rig. And we're fishing a real hard current right now of Lake Pontchartrain. So we got this artificial prototype matrix shrimp here. And we're just simply Carolina rigging it by lifting that big egg sinker up off the bottom and then just letting the shrimp flutter with the current. I'll show you how we're doing it here. Just short little cast, cause it's pretty deep and the current's moving pretty hard. And then once it hits the bottom, I'm just slowly picking it up. A lot of people call this the rucker rig. When you fish it with plastic, very effective way to fish in deep water with a heavy current. And this little plastic shrimp what we did is we took a very similar approach with the shrimp body as a lot of artificial shrimps have right now. But what we did is we, instead of letting the tail come to a tapered end, we, we got the tail where it's, it's really fat down on the bottom, creating water resistance and friction when it moves, given that tail is gonna, it flaps up and down when you pull it, you know, through the water. So. It's got a nice, nice action. This is the product that, this is the prototype that we won, that I won the CCA on sight fish and sheephead, won the sheephead division. So that's what it's really geared for, the reason we wanted to design it. But we're trying to showcase that it's gonna be effective in a lot of different situations especially Carolina rigging right here. It's on a very light weedless hook, so you gotta put it on a Carolina rig. This thing's also gonna be deadly underneath a cork. And Captain Chris has been catching them all day with it right here beside me and him and Steven's boat. It's a lot harder. So we're here at the Star Banquet with Abigail Schaefer, and she's going to tell us all the secrets about fishing. Abigail, where did you catch this fish? I actually did not know. You don't know? What kind of fish was it? A, a speckle trap. Fantastic. Did you have a great time? Yes, I did. Well, thank you for fishing Star, and y'all have to fish next year. Gail and I won this boat fishing in the star tournament.
Pod's moving in storage. I need to clean out my study. We'll deliver a container. My brother-in-law's moving in. Maybe he'll help you pack. He's lazy. We can refer some professionals. It's just until he finds work. We can keep things at our storage center for as long as it takes. I am not happy about this. Or you can keep your things on site for quick unloading. Did you say freeloading? I said unloading. I heard freeloading. I'm sure you did. Store on site or let us drive your things to our secure storage center. Pods, moving in storage, solved. Well, I'm going to do it a little bit different today. We got some pictures come in and, and I'm going I'm to sort of hit them twice because once a, they're going to be in our fishing report. But uh, I, got, I got some pictures come from, from people I've been asking to send some. And one of them is uh, a photo from uh, a good friend, uh, Will Latimer. They're they from Marietta, Georgia. They were in, in Baton Rouge for a thing. And uh, he was fishing subdivision pine in, in Central. And he was throwing a crankbait. He had two bass on at one time. I hollered, oh, bring them in. I'm going to take a picture. Uh, he, he didn't get but one of them, and he got to the bank. One of them fell off, but congratulations, Will. So I told him when he goes back to Marietta, Georgia, you know where that is. Uh, that's, that's where Gilbert comes from. <laughs> I told him he'd go back there, start sending me some more pictures. He was all excited. Uh, John Bernard, again, is, is in Dulac. Uh, him and Ken Jones had some reds and some specks. They fished in a gulp with short truth glow and uh, under a cork. Uh, Tom LeBlanc and had another bad trip at Delacro. They caught a few small trip of fish, a few small trout they kept, and, and a few white trout. But everything else, they had, had a lot of throwbacks. Talking about throwbacks too, Ken Lambert and, uh, and his buddy, they went over there, but they had 22 nice trout, seven bass, two big redfish, and, uh, and, they, and they had a lot of throwbacks, and they were in Lake Catherine. Uh, they were, they were fishing live shrimp from Island Marina under a four-horse cork. Uh, I, I was looking for some other pictures coming in, but uh, freshwater, I didn't have any pictures, but boy, I got some great reports. I was talking to J.B. Salter, Jr., uh, Blaine, and we, he was talking about, oh, he said, man, Old River's hot. He said, when you going to come, we're going to do a trip at Old River. I said, let's go tomorrow. <laughs> Blaine is so busy, we didn't get there. I'm going to get him and Dr. Vincent. So I'll be making a trip at Old River. They, they, for some reason, they, they turned on and doing good. They still catching fish in the spillway. I was trying to make a run in the spillway, and I was calling the wildlife and fisheries, and I got some reports on the. I, I wanted some reports on fish kills. Anybody turn them? Not, not nothing yet. Okay, so remind y'all, if y'all got a fish kill, you be sure, be sure and report to the wildlife and fishers any way you can, whether you call or, or send the coordinates to your GPS, wherever you can do it, you be sure and turn them in. But uh, we've been fortunate. Jason Andrews said nothing coming from the coast right now. You know, they got a lot of fresh water, but uh, nothing. nothing. No fish kills yet. I tried to get in touch with, uh, I'm, I'm going to remember his name, Richard Moses. Richard's been off, or he might have been in the field. I couldn't reach him. Reach him. But J.B. Salter says he, he got people to fish in the spillway this past Sunday, okay? Um, I mean, that was just today and Saturday where we were fishing back in, in catfish and in saw, they were catching sackle. I'm talking about in the 50 and 60 range. So that, that's, the, that's the only freshwater report I got. Uh, I had nothing coming from North Louisiana. Everybody getting ready for duck hunting. I'm gonna give you a duck report in 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 a, in a minute. Uh, while I'm talking about you know Island Marina, I got a uh, I got something from Danica on the Venetian Isles rodeo, which was was cut short because uh, they had evacuation order, and uh, she sent me a list. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to run it. But I don't know. If Chris will look at it. But if you want the final results from the Venetian Isles Rodeo, you can go to the Venetian Isles website or you can go to Wish to Fish website and get it. So, and congratulations. To, they, they got the youth divisions, uh, adult division and everything. They got all the divisions. It was cut a day short, so you want, you want to see that. Uh, let's see right here. Oh, I'm, 
I'm going to give another thing some coming up. Uh, to remind you again, the Ascension, the Ascension Anglers uh, fundraiser at Dry Rooms Landing. That's October 24th. That's this Saturday. Uh, if you want to fish it, don't forget. Uh, let me look. I don't want to miss nothing. Uh, I got all the photos I can. Uh, I, I was telling Ken Lambert and them, he was fishing with his neighbor Herb and, and Susie Sales. Look, there were. She strapped it on him. He said he was just amazed. He said, but uh, them live shrimp, they're coming from Mala Marina. They've really been doing a trick. Uh, I had somebody standing at my camp. My, my, my good buddy, George Rumps, his, his son-in-law and his buddies, uh, they stayed at the camp, fished two or three days down, down there, and they fished uh, Lake Catherine and Lake Bourne. Uh, most of their fish, they had a good day the first day before the, before the wind started blowing and this just got real bad. Uh, ben Birdsong and them, and they will catch them on two lane rig. And they don't fish drop shot like the, all the captains over there right now. Still catching fish out of, out of Island Marina, but he fishing a Carolina rig. So uh, I got that. I got, some, I got some other news coming up pretty soon. When we come back, I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you about the ducks. For sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. <laughs> Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. I got the rambling while ago on a fishing report. But I had been talking to Mark over here. Mark caught fish three days down in Hopedale area over there in Campos, uh, excuse me, Campos of Shelby. Look here. That bait right there was his best bait under cork. They caught bass, they caught, they, they caught speckled trout, they caught redfish and everything. That's called Coastal Candy at Berkeley. It looked like a shrimp and beautiful coloring. So you can see it. Mark got a lot of them. And that's one of our sponsors. That's another one. Uh, a lot of people still catching fish around here uh, on a gulp, and they the glow, and the chartreuse tail has been the hottest one. Now, uh, I, I'm going to talk about ducks a little bit, and I'm going to jump around a little bit right now. But uh, Larry Reynolds, you know, I called him up. I've been trying to get reports on the fish kills, and they're saying, Larry, tell me about the habitat. How, how, how's the habitat look for ducks and all this? And he told me the same thing I've been hearing uh, from Ryan Lambert and, uh, and Brendan Dubrock and them up there at Catahoula. He says uh, the southwest, that surge, the salt water is starting to show. They already starting to rot. All the duck food and all the vegetation is starting to rot. He said the only hope we got, like after Katrina, he remember we had a lot of ducks were coming down. They didn't want to leave, and they were eating a lot of that rotten vegetation. So he says, uh, we're going to have to wait and see on that. He also told me that the southeast wasn't that bad, but, but then again, I talked to Ryan Lambert, and Ryan says in Buras and all those areas they hunt, and on his lease, uh, the duck potato is in bad shape, and a lot of the other, uh, vegetation that they were hoping for was doing it. Brendan told me at Catahoula Lake, and the same thing that uh, Larry told me, the Catahoula Lake right now is up at 36, and they were looking for a pool about 27, so the duck could eat. He said all the vegetation is underwater and dying. It don't look good for Catahoula Lake, too. And boy, and they were, it started out as a great year. You know, they were killing teal, and uh, they already had ducks coming down. They had 
pintail and and uh, I, I don't I don't know about camels back, but they had pintail and a lot of other ducks coming. Everywhere I talk to people up north right now, they got their whistlers. They everywhere. Uh, you know the whistling ducks, Mexican squealers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a, that, that far as I got on vegetation, I asked Buckley and them, a couple of people I know, I said, y'all seeing any birds right now? Uh, the good news is the agricultural fields right now hold, still holding water, and they still have some stuff that they can get out because of the storms, and uh, it, might, it might hold a bunch of ducks for, before they go all the way through. So. That's the good news then. I'm gonna leave that duck alone. I, I, got, I got some hunting reports or some news. Uh, my friend Bucky Kessler, his wife and his friends and their wives, uh, they, made, they made a trip to, to Idaho. They go somewhere up north every year. I don't care if it's goose hunting, wherever they go. They, when they get through, when Bucky gets through bringing in the canes and harvesting, they taking off. And, uh, and he, he's one of the true sportsmen. I've, I've been knowing him all my life. I've hunted with him. He, he, he takes care of the source. He takes care of the habitat. He's he just a great sportsman. Uh, him and it, like I said, him and his wife, they went, and they were bow hunting in Idaho. Here's a bunch of pictures of them. Uh, they killed a bison, and you all see these racks they killed on these elk. Uh, I put the names down there, but I don't have to name them all, but I knew... He, he, he has Skeeter and Godio and some of them. Uh, you see these women in there. Uh, I, I forget their names. Megan and, and, and uh, what's his name? Anderson's wife. All these women are over there. They're shooting and hunting too. So uh, big women in the outdoors. So I was going to do that. This is my best news. I'm, I'm my good friend Peyton Murphy. I don't know. Y'all see Murphy on TV all the time. But you don't know. He's a tremendous outdoorsman. I don't care if it's fishing in Grand Isle or around the world or hunting on his property. He loves hunting on his property. He loves uh, bringing his family, uh, all, him and his wife, and all his kids, they hunt. He, uh, he made a hunt two weeks ago. He was in here when we were taping the show. He showed me a picture of a monster deer he killed. And here's a picture of that uh, deer that was in St. Francisville. The story on that, though, he making an evening hunt with his bow and... Uh, he got a ground blind. He went in the ground blind. He said he got all set up. He was doing it, and all of a sudden, the, <clears throat> the, deers were, the deer were coming. I'm talking about the other bucks and does. He said if it had been a few years ago, he had a shot early. But he waited, and that monster come close within range, within 45 minutes from the time. That's a long time. He said he probably would have shot first 15 minutes. But he said from the time he sat in that blind, until that, that big buck came there, it, it was just 45 minutes, and he had his trophy. The other thing was he was so proud of his uncle, uh, Mr. Mr. Joel Taylor. He's gone through cancer treatment, so he took him up there, and uh, here's a big nine-point he killed. Uh, he told me, say, say a prayer for my Uncle Joel. He's a super guy. Uncle Joel, here we are. We got prayers for you. Congratulations on that deer. Uh, when we come back, I got... A little bit more sad news, and I'm going to tell you goodbye. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny. Who the heck is Benny? Why choose Barbecue Guys? Because this is Barbecue Guys. Not only do we have the largest online selection of grills and outdoor furniture, top-notch customer service, affordable financing, and 3D design services to help you tie it all together, but we also know what it is you love most about outdoor living. Time spent with family and friends. Combined with our expert advice, you'll have everything you need to design your dream outdoor life. Stop by our showroom today.
Hey, welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. And, uh, and in closing, let me, let me give some, some congratulations to some of these kids that have been fishing. And, and, and so I've been watching them since they've been eight, nine years old. And all of a sudden, uh, Henny, are they fishing their the adult tournaments as kids? And, uh, and a couple of them are getting ready to go to the, the, the high school national championships. And they're also going to the Bass Nation regional tournament. They were fishing the Bass Nation Regional Tournament. Uh, the co-angler, which that's people without a boat. They got an angler and a co-angler. Uh, kind of Russian was fishing. He's from Pride, by the way. The, he's a Pride, uh, Central Area, Greenwood Springs. Uh, he finished first, and uh, so and he's qualifying for a lot of those national tournaments in that in that as a co-angler. Also, Trace Day, who I raised since he was that high. I raised. I've been around him he's between Grand Isle and, and Fish and CCA, but now he's in that bass fishing. Uh, he come in second. Uh, he's also headed, they head, they headed to, uh, I'm talking about the co Connor kind of rushing them. They headed to Lake Pickwick in Alabama. And in the angler division, Blake Sylvester, another one from this area, uh, he's on the angler side. He's going to the regionals. He come in third. He's going to the national. He's coming third in the regional tournament. Congratulations, y'all, young guys. Y'all keep sending me the information. I'm going to thank uh, the bros because they always keep me uh, posted on how these kids do. So thank y'all. Keep in touch. Uh, another news is going to Delta Waterfowl. They're going to be that's November the 4th. They got their banquet starting at 5.30. That'd be a LaBerge Casino. They about got half their tickets sold, so if you got any questions, you can get in touch with them. But if not, you, you can show up at, at LaBerge. At Delta Waterfowl, November the 4th. And then, then on sad note, we got another loss in the Lafitte area. Uh, people sent me some send me some reports. Captain Joe Bush, I don't know if you ever, y'all remember, he's one of the legendary captains out of, out of Lafitte. Uh, he passed away last week. Our condolences to his family. Another storm in the Gulf. Another one that further down. Two storms. 26, 27. Louisiana. God bless Louisiana. Keep us in your prayers. See y'all next week. BBQGuys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, and by Farm Bureau Insurance.